Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to film part two of top 10 books, life-changing books that I would recommend you read in 2022. So I filmed part one not too long ago. I'll leave that link below. If you're interested in watching it, just because I feel like those books are incredible and there's so much value to be gained from them. So I would 100% recommend you go back and watch part one before watching part two. So today I will speak about the rest five books that I want to share with you and that I think you 100% must read in 2022. So I'll begin with the first book and the first book is The Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. The Five Second Rule is inspired by Mel's own story and how she discovered the Five Second Rule. So her story is basically that she was unemployed, she had a drinking problem and she was hitting the snooze button every single morning. She just was unable to get out of bed and be productive and carry on with her day. So one night on TV, she saw a NASA rocket launch and the next morning when she was about to hit the snooze button again, she started counting just like she saw on TV the previous night. Five, four, three, two, one. And then she got out of bed. And she was really surprised that it actually worked. So she continued to do that throughout her day and then the days after. And she noticed that every single time she did it, it worked. And she went on to achieve some pretty incredible things. And then she wanted to do more research into the science behind, you know, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and counting backwards and then taking action. Why does it work? So you basically have a five second window before your brain kicks into full gear and starts sabotaging you and talking you out of things. So when you count five, four, three, two, one, basically that puts your brain into thinking and it stops your habit loops in your brain. So habit loops are based is basically what you do subconsciously without realizing. So when you're counting five, four, three, two, one, that doesn't give you the chance to think on what you want to do. It interrupts your automatic thinking. And I feel like there's so much science behind it. And she obviously talks about it in her book. So I would 100% recommend you read this book. This book went on to change the, the lives of millions of people and it actually works. So if you're struggling with, you know, taking action or, you know, implementing new habits, this can also help with that. So for instance if you're stuck in a meeting and you have an amazing idea but you're unsure because you know you're you're scared that it might not be a good idea and people might laugh at you and then you go five four three two one and don't think about it and you just go for it then it always works so i think it's an incredible book and i would 100 recommend you read it in 2022 the second book that i would recommend you read is a return to love by marianne williamson and this is a book based on the power of love and if you act with love and do everything with love why you can achieve and why you can do for you. It's a book that will help you release resentment, anger and fear and it will enable you to live a much much happier life. It's basically a reflection on A Course in Miracles and it's her take on it and it basically talks about that in order to live a happier more fulfilled life we must turn inward to God or that's what she talks about in the book but even if you're not spiritual I think there's so much value to be gained from it or love basically so you must do everything with love. There are three main takeaways that I would like to share with you from this book. Takeaway number one is whatever is causing your unhappiness is because it's coming out of a feeling of fear. Takeaway number two is let a higher path guide you into your relationships, your jobs, your path in life and if you turn to that then you will live a much more fulfilled life because if you trust what your path is in the world, so for instance, in her case, she was a waitress, but she realized that her purpose as a waitress is to serve her customers and to bring them joy and happiness. So if you do that and you do everything with love, then you are more likely to live a much more fulfilled life. Takeaway number three is people who are grumpy or not very happy or not very nice are that way because of something that has happened in the past and it's because they're trying to protect themselves from past trauma. I think it's an incredible book to read because it gives you such a beautiful perspective on life and I would 100% recommend you read this one as well. I'm sorry if you can hear any drilling, there's a bit of work going on in the background, I hope you can't hear it too much. The third book that I would like to recommend is The Five Love Languages by Dr. Gary Chapman. So this is a great book and I think you should still read it even if you're single. So basically the premise of the book and what he talks about is that the way we give and receive love is not the same way and they're actually what he identifies as five different love languages words of affirmation quality time physical touch acts of service and receiving gifts so as you can tell they kind of seem self-explanatory but i still think that it's important to kind of 
understand what your love languages are and also he talks about the notion that it's important to find out not just what your love language is but how what your partner's love language is so that you can kind of come to a common agreement and he also says that oftentimes if you're unhappy in relationships it's because you're not speaking your partner's love language or because your partner's not speaking your love language so yeah i think and then at an individual level it's very important to find out how you like to receive love and how you like to give love as well the next book that i would like to mention is the subtle art of not giving a you probably can tell what it is so this is actually a really easy read and i find it quite refreshing given the influx of positive psychology in today's society and how there is so much um i know a lot of the books i'm recommending are self-help but there is so much I don't know the notion of you always have to be happy and you can never be negative and you always must look at the positives and you know all about self-help and while i completely agree i also think it's really really important to acknowledge and learn how to deal with your negative emotions so basically what the book talks about is the fact that we should learn what we should actually care about so he talks about kind of identifying what your values are and then learning to pick your problems and fixing them based on what is aligned with your values so he also talks about the fact that we, are, we will always have problems but we just need to pick out the problems that are worth fighting for and that are aligned with what our values actually are our intrinsic values rather than the values that society places on us he also talks about taking full responsibility for your problems because that will enable you to do something about them and how you let them make you feel and also he says that life is full of suffering but you just have to find something that is worth suffering for so this is another super easy book that i recommend and i think there's a lot of value in it that you can take you away. will probably notice that this part of the clip looks very different to the previous ones and that's because i realized while editing that i lost a part of the footage so i have to refilm it again and i need to tell you guys what the last book is so the fifth book is by jen sincero and it's called you are badass she has several other books she has another one called you're a badass at making money and i know she has two more but i'm not sure exactly what they are this book what i personally did is i listened to it on audible and i thought it was so much fun and it was super easy to understand it's a self-help book but again it felt super easy to understand for me and she talks about many many concepts in the book but overall she talks about deep-seated beliefs and then she talks about accepting yourself and accepting what is and trusting into source energy and also talks about meditating and the, the power and the use of meditation and then she talks about letting go of your old stories and just going for it so yeah there's so much more that this book is about but i just think that's just a quick summary just i don't want to make this video too too long those are basically the other five books that i recommend you guys read in 2022 and like i mentioned in my previous video in part one of the top 10 books that i recommend you read i think these books can add so much value into your lives and i think is the kind these are the kinds of books that once you read you can't go back to your old way of thinking and also for instance with the five second rule it actually gives you practical tips that you can implement in your everyday life to actually help you with whatever you're struggling with and again even if you don't feel like reading this books entirely or if you're not much of a reader then i would recommend you guys just go on youtube look at a video summary sometimes they're even five ten minutes so it doesn't take too much of your time but the value that you can gain from them is just amazing so yeah that's everything that i wanted to share for today um thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video and if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye for now